An impressive sight, don't you think? Hasn't changed a whit since the old days. Actually, after the initial shock of being in another reality wears off, it's kind of boring. There's that horizon that goes on forever and the sinkhole, that's pretty much it. No continents, no convenience stores, nothing. You were here before? Does that mean you were on the original council? I never said that. I think Sama sent me a picture postcard that said, My esteemed leader went to the vortex and all I got was this lousy postcard. The picture was really nice, though. It really did this place justice. It must have had, oh, 250. Where are Zar and Sangdrax? Isn't it obvious? They're on the island floating over the sinkhole. Even now they are preparing for the reformation. It shouldn't be long until they start the process. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's follow them. It's not that simple. They had all of the seal pieces, so they were able to use the magic platform. That's how the council members transported themselves over in the first place. The world seal, or in this case all of the pieces, are set upon the platform. It automatically takes anyone standing there over to the island. Since we don't have the seal pieces, we can't follow them. Why can't your dragon just fly us there? Look at him! His wings were shredded in the fight with Sangrax. He wouldn't even be able to lift off. No, my dragon isn't away to the island. What about those stone things that kind of look like paths? They reach almost all the way to the island. Can we follow them? Very good, Haplo. You're very quick. Those stone things are indeed known as the paths. We Sartan introduced the island to the vortex. When we did so, we flawed the perfect magic that existed here. The reaction rippled through the reality. Other flaws began to appear. They manifested themselves as the paths. The paths are made of wild magic, chaotic magic. They are unpredictable. They are even dangerous, but they are the only way to the island left to us. You can use them, but you must be aware of a few things. First, you must travel alone. I cannot go with you. Never has a journey succeeded when there was more than one participant. Second, the wild magic may manifest in other strange ways while you walk the paths. I can't tell you what you might experience. It's different for every traveler. Simply beware and be careful. What will I do if I get to the island? I don't have a magic stone to defeat Sangdrax anymore. You want me to tell you everything? Maybe you should try thinking on your feet. Well, my guess is that Sangdrax has probably taken your form to lead Zar through the Reformation. If you catch up with them, you'll have to convince Zar that you're really you. Then, you'll have to convince him not to go through with the Reformation. As for Sangdrax, well, he probably won't like you interfering, so he might try to kill you. Don't let that stop you, though. Get in there, slugger. The whole team's behind you. Way behind you. I'd better get to work. Time is running out. That's true. You'd better get going. <laughs> I wish I had some popcorn. This is going to be some show. What did you expect to happen? Without the seal pieces, it doesn't do anything. Unless you were going up there to give a speech. In that case, proceed.
What are you? Some kind of phantasm born of the Vortex? I can feel the wild magic around us. Are you part of that? I am no phantasm. I am the true Haplo. Your companion is a dragon who has taken my form to trick you into destroying the world. He has tried his best to keep me from following you here, but here I am. You must stop what you are doing, my lord. The Reformation will not be what you expect. Many will die, including our own race. My lord, it's obvious that this is some trick, some manifestation of the Vortex's wild magic. Why it spouts lies to stop you from claiming your rightful heritage, I don't know. But don't spare it a thought. Continue with the ritual, and I will deal with my double. What you say makes sense, my son, but something about this doesn't ring true. Can you prove your words? Are you the real Haplo? Or is this, as my companion claims, just a hollow trick? It's no trick. I can prove I'm Haplo. Remember our conversation about heart runes? They name us. They give us our magic. They are the center of our beings. If they are torn or broken, we fall ill. We cannot function. I show you mine, unbroken. I challenge my double to do the same. Of course I can show you my heart room, and why not? After I've done so, I'll eliminate this annoyance so that you can complete the reformation undisturbed, Lord Czar. I live only to serve you. I prefer to be direct anyway. My lord, you will complete the reformation. If you do not, I will kill you. It's your choice. Very well, dragon. I will continue the reformation, but only because it suits my purposes as well. Excellent. Get on with it then. Ah! That should take care of our friend, eh? Tell me what's happening here, Haplo. Quickly, if you don't mind. It seems that I have been misinformed. The Reformation is not what I wished it to be. I must change my plans. We will bring about the interconnection. The worlds cannot survive without it. But the Sartan's strength is severely depleted. It is as nothing compared to ours. After we have connected the realms, we shall invade them, wipe them clean of the Sartan influence, and take our rightful place as rulers. Attend me, my son. I've placed the focus over the starting moon of the Reformation. While you gather the remaining seal pieces, I have to move it back to the interconnection starting room. I'm lucky that my research indicated which room this was. Otherwise, I might not know how to bring it about.
Put the Nexus Shield piece in the focus and have done with it. If you feel any reluctance, look at your lord. He was more powerful, more intelligent, more cunning than you will ever be. And he is dead. You cannot do better than he. You cannot defend against me. I command a magic you cannot comprehend. If you attack me, I will change to a form that is impervious to it. Resign yourself, patron. Do as I ask or die. I've lost patience with you, patron. I might have spared your petty little life had you done as I asked. But it's too late. You've sealed your doom. Goodbye, fool.
The heart, the heart, the heart.
Crisis patron. I've got one more, dragon. When you drop the Nexus seal piece into the focus and ignite the interconnection spell, Magic flows through the ruins of the island and connects the elemental spires. Sangdrax, unwisely attempting to break through the magic field in order to stop you, confronts the brunt of its power. It proves to be too much, even for the incarnation of evil, and the explosion hurls him into the swirling vortex, hopefully never to be seen again. You've connected the five realms. Perhaps now the worlds can function as planned and their inhabitants can not only survive, but flourish. Yet, you ponder one particular unrealized goal of your lord, namely the release of your people from the labyrinth. With time, and the aid of the Sartan, you may be able to see this dream fulfilled, but that must wait for another day. You've completed Deathgate. You've saved the realms from a fate worse than death. And while doing all of this, you scored 1,500 out of 1,500 points. Congratulations. <laughs>